Hi, I'm back with another edition of my live stream in my living room. What up? Just uh, to make sure everybody's on the same page today. It's Thursday, April, April something, April, April 9th? I don't know. It's Thursday. Good morning to you. Come talk with me so I am not bored. I'm not ignoring you. This is my work phone, so I'm pulling it up so I can try and catch the live stream. Here we go. I just want to make sure it looks okay. It does. Boom. All right. So anyway, good morning. Happy Thursday. Time for a little morning milk. Grab your coffee. I want you to feel not so alone in this world. So grab your coffee, take a sip and come chat with me. Hold on. Number one. I'm really annoyed this morning because for the second time, my building has shut off the water without an email, without a note, without any warning, so there's no water. So I can't wash my hands, I can't make more coffee, that's that. Number two, I'm wearing very fun slippers that were given to me by Heather Myers. Thank you, Heather Myers. I still wear these daily. Anyway, so I've got some good stories that I want to share with you today and every day. Good morning to Dan Schramm. Hi guys. Look at, I can write to you while I'm on here. How does this shot look? It's kind of weird that I'm sitting and there's like a, that I'm sitting this way. I didn't think that you'd see it. Maybe I should lower the shot. Eh, it's too late. We've given up. So I wanted to show you some stories that are a little uplifting these days. The sales of alcohol have skyrocketed during the quarantine. I'm sure you don't need a reason why, especially for parents who need a drink or two to survive the day. You have to see this. These moms are hilarious, Cat and Nat. They do like mommy truths. So I wanna show you this. Friday, we have been in quarantine for three weeks. Anyways, we decided to bring you our quarantine edition, Reason Mommy Drinks. Number one, we do not drink and drive in the car. This is our office. Number two, Reason Mommy Drinks isn't necessarily about alcohol. It's not. It's about the fact that you hear mom 755 million times a day. I've never heard so many nicknames for the word mother. Ma, 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 mommy, mommy, ma, 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 mommy, ma, 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 that is too funny. So here's the deal. I've been bemoaning the fact that I am all alone. So I get a little, not that I'm bored because I'm making all these crazy videos, but I like to have human contact. I want to hug someone, touch someone, just, you know, be able to look at them. So I was FaceTiming with my friend Kim the other day. Hi, Kim. And her boys were playing in the bathtub, Lincoln and Owen. And the little boy looks at me and he goes, Auntie Jenny, you don't have any kids, right? And I was like, not that I know of, Lincoln. He's like, well, you don't have any kids, so you must be bored. And then he looks at me, and it was the cutest thing ever, and he says, well, Auntie Jenny, we're your kids. And I said to him, yes, you are my children, the best type of children, because you're all the way across the country in Chicago. Thumbs up. So anyway, shout out to all the parents there who are drinking a lot. It's not funny, but it is funny. Speaking of parents, we just showed the mommies. What about all the daddies? Raise your hand if you're a dad, you're a girl dad, and you are just dancing around in princess costumes these days. It's Carnation Day! Look at this guy. Look at those moves. Are you serious? If you are a dad that is doing this with your children, high five. So many high fives. I love this. I don't know why it makes me happy because dad should be doing this anyway, but it's adorable. So I'm glad that people are sharing these videos. So we've talked about moms. We've talked about dads. What about the grandmas in all of this, huh? Where's grandma? You guys watch this, okay? I love my grandma so much. Of course. I know she loves me too. But thanks to this stupid virus, there are some new grandma rules. Spend the order to call her on the phone Cause grandma's not to picture 
she seems to stress in it and hum. But I don't want my grandma catching any super bum. So don't try to drag. Okay, first of all, I am mildly obsessed with Jimmy Fallon. He's adorable. So him and Adam Sandler released Don't Touch Grandma from their Tonight Show at Home edition. I like lost my train of thought there. Do you ever get those like brain farts where you know you're speaking, but you don't know what you're saying and you just don't know what came out of your mouth? I would blame the quarantine, but that happens to me on a daily basis. Oh no. So here's the thing. A lot of parents are working from home which can prove to be a little bit difficult, but it also can be hilarious when your child like totally video bombs you during a report or your show. I'm trying to pull up this video from Jimmy Fallon, but Jimmy Fallon was doing an interview with uh, Russell Wilson and Ciara, and then his little girl just popped in. It was so cute. But of course, like my internet is gonna stop working right now. Here it is. I'm gonna pull it up. Let me scrub on through, guys. You know, with Goodman Brad from the Ethos of Ultra, which is a mentorship program. But the cool part has been um during What do you mean show me? Wait, this is big news, guys. Just tell them what happened. Uh, what happened? Bills. Yeah! She lost her too! Oh wow! Woo! Just now it just happened? Yeah. Oh let me see it. Oh my gosh, Winnie, I'm so happy! That's so awesome! <laughs> I don't know why it's so adorable to see like celebrities, especially celebrity dads, interacting with their children. It just like normalizes them, but it's super cute. So anyway, that was that. So apparently in Texas, Wedding Wednesday has become a thing and there's this photographer running around taking picture of women in their old wedding dresses. Do y'all keep your old wedding dresses? I know Heather Myers made a pillow out of her wedding dress. But anyway, so you can tell that they're six feet apart, they're social distancing, but they're doing like random photo shoots. I know people are doing those porch photo shoots as well, where they're like holding a bunch of toilet paper and Lysol and taking family photos, so it's pretty funny. I also have good news for you guys. Chicago Animal Care and Control posted the other day that they completely ran out of adoptable animals. Yay! I think people are so lonely, so they're adopting and fostering animals, which is great. I've been looking every single day because I want to adopt two cats, um, but I haven't found any. I want like two younger cats. But anyway, congrats to Chicago Animal Care and Control. They've got like more adoptable animals that are going to go into the rotation. But the other day, yeah, they literally cleared the shelter. So props to you guys if you are adopting animals or fostering or whatever you may be doing at the moment. So I'm going to look at some of your comments because I want to chat with you. People were writing, okay, let's see what you're saying. Oh, okay. John Bahara is asking where my cats are. So my cats are in Chicago. They are with their dad and well taken care of. Unfortunately, I could not bring them here. James Jefferson is asking, can I date you? How much money do you make? Just kidding. You cannot date me. Dan Vietrodek, Citronufka, do you have any? I don't have any Citronufka, but it's good. For those of you who don't know how, what it is, it's like a Polish liquor. We've got Tanya watching from Chicago. Gabriel Ocampo says, alcohol sales stop at 9 p.m. for Chicago. By the way, if you do need alcohol and you live in the northwest part of the city in Chicago, go to Belmont and Laramie. Go to Bristol and buy some alcohol. It's my mom's store, my mom and dad. Shaw says my daughter's 23 years old and lives in Chicago, so I'm out. John Arkelis is going to the Jewels. Going to the Jewels? If you're in Chicago, you call it the Jewels. There's no S. It's Jewel. Anyway, William Bird says, been there, done that. Two of my children are close in age to you, and my little one is graduating high school. Russell Kent says, desperate need of furry companions. You could ask your boyfriend to stop shaving. Wait, can we talk about men shaving? Ladies and gentlemen who are watching out there, for some reason, and hopefully my boyfriend is not watching, I hate when men shave their face. I love a beard, a mustache, 
five o'clock shadow. I just, I don't know what it is, but when men completely shave their face and there's no, no hair, it's so weird to me. It's so weird especially if you've known them with with facial hair and then they get rid of it and then it's scary it's real scary janet hunt holmes hi janet she's watching from demott indiana i miss you guys too did you do speaking of indiana did you guys hear pierogi fest was canceled i swear to god i had about 30 people message me yesterday Pierogi Fest in Whiting, Indiana canceled this year. They're going to bring it back next year. Fingers crossed. Um, super sad. That's like when reality hit, when Pierogi Fest was canceled. If you have to cancel an event with Polish people, which means lots of alcohol, then you know you're in trouble. This quarantine is no joke when Pierogi Fest is canceled. Joel Goik is watching from Bay City, Michigan. Shaw is shaving as he watches me. Shaw, put down the razor. Put it down. Grzegorz Wielgat. Very Polish name. Raspberry vodka, cranberry juice, splash of orange juice. Very refresh refreshing. I call it Słodki Grzesz. Bruce Samuelson is asking socks or Cubs? Well, I lived, when I lived in Chicago, I lived right by Wrigley Field and I've never gone to a Sox game, which I, I need to go to a Sox game. So I would say Cubs. I would say Cubs. <laughs> Stephen Hill, who's obsessed with the fact that I'm Polish, says, Polish teachers correcting English. There's no S in Jewel. <laughs> Michael Molinaro says it's windy as hell in Chicago this morning. Robert Sebastian is asking about shaved heads. I'm new to the whole bald man thing. And can I tell you something? I love it. I love me a bald man. Lyle Mitchell is drinking Coors Light and Jack Fire on the rocks. Oh my gosh, yes. So Andrew Hudima is bringing up Easter. Easter's this Sunday. And I kind of got a little depressed because normally we have Easter baskets. If you're Polish, you guys know you bless the Easter baskets, so you put Polish sausage and eggs and salt and the butter lamb and shan, horseradish, and you go to church and you get the basket blessed and then you go home and then you eat Easter brunch. So I don't have any of that this year, which is really sad. However, I'm really gonna try hard to go to the store, which we'll see how this goes, and make żurek. All my Polish people, you know żurek, white barszcz, white borscht. It's like a white botched borscht and it has sausage and eggs in it and it's so good and it's very traditional for Easter. So I'm going to try and make that. Hopefully I'll make a video for you guys. I've never made it. I'm not much of a cook, so we'll kind of see how it goes. But anyway, thanks for all your comments. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, Janet is saying this is the first year with no Polish Easter basket. Miss our fresh horseradish. If you guys are in San Diego and you know of a place that I can get some good Polish sausage and Polish pickles, like sour pickles, please let me know because I'm going to try maybe to do a recipe this weekend. Anyway, happy Thursday. It is Thursday, by the way. I hope you're hanging in there. You're staying healthy. You're staying safe. If you need to make a mask, I did a video that's posted below this video of a DIY mask that you can make using old bras. Because ladies, if you're working from home, I know you're not wearing bras, like let's face it. Why are you gonna wear one if you don't have to? They are shekels, shekels that we do not need. Anyway, love you guys, thanks for chatting, and I will see you tomorrow, bye. Now I gotta go turn off the live stream. This is very awkward. <laughs>